You know, it took some adjusting just to try and get as much of this planner as I could into frame because of the limitations of my filming setup right now. This puppy is large. Hi everybody, today I am taking a look at the mom agenda. This is something that several of you have asked for multiple times over the last year at least, and I finally got around to ordering it. When I looked at it on the website, I was actually kind of fascinated by the layout of it and everything else, so I'm really kind of excited to flip through this with you because it's a little bit different than some of the other planners I've looked at. That is, that's pretty cool. Well, I mean, I'm tired, you guys. We're in the middle of getting ready to move, so it, there's a lot of things that could be pretty cool right now, but I'm interested in this. Anyway, the Mom Agenda planners were started as planners specifically for moms, and the Mom Agenda Virgin, the Mom Agenda Virgin, no, the Mom Agenda version that I have is a mom-oriented version, and I'll explain why I got that one in a hot minute. But they did decide that they would start making non-mom versions that are called virgins. It's like my, my planners don't have sex. That's weird, Cindy. Virginity is a fucking construct. Anyway, sorry. The non-mom versions are called my agenda instead of mom agenda, and they don't have the word kids anywhere in the planner, whereas the mom agenda ver does. The biggest issue I run into with the my agenda and why I didn't order it is I it's not offered in all of the same options. I wanted the oversized version and I wanted a coil, even though it's the wire O binding, which I fucking hate. When I was browsing the website, most of what I saw for the My Agenda was bound and not in this size. So if they could offer all of the versions in My Agenda, that would be rad. But if their customer base is mostly moms, I can see why they don't do that. But I do appreciate that they offer a version that does not say mom or have kids because you might love this layout and not want kids or not be able to have kids, or you might not be like there, there's all sorts of reasons. Like pe there are plenty of people who use planners that are not moms, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, moving forward. So this version is the office version, which is the oversized version in Jade, which is this cover. And then it was $40. Shipping is free over 50 bucks. I didn't reach that. So I paid $7.95 in shipping. This is a 13 month planner, July, 2021 through August, 2022. And it comes in five different colors for this version, at least. Some of them are animal print. <laughs> and you can have it embossed with foil embossing on the cover for $5 more. I didn't do that. So this size, the oversized version is nine by 11. So it's a little bit bigger than letter sized paper, which is what I wanted because I love my planners big. <laughs> the other available sizes are seven by nine and five by seven. This comes with two folders, monthly and weekly views. I couldn't find the paperweight on the website, but I did see on some other reviews from years past, either 70 GSM or 70 pound, I don't remember, but it was a while back and I just, I don't have an up-to-date accurate paperweight on it. The other thing I will say is that this was shipped, I can't remember if it was shipped in a box or an envelope. Like the way it was shipped didn't look too beaten up, but when I opened it, the planner had taken a beating on the side. You can see right here, it's been kind of crunched and the cover's a little bit broken, which, and then some of the tabs also got kind of smushed and then there's a little bit more of a crunch on the back side. So the planner did come to me damaged. I'm not too worried about it, but you know, that that's something I could call customer service and find out. I'm So there is that. And if I do decide to call customer service to mention it, I'll let you know how that goes uh, in the comments below. So this cover is this bright kind of greenish, like kind of aqua, maybe turquoise, greener on the greener side, and it has a very subtle like linen pattern behind it. So it's it's smooth, but it's got a little tiny bit of a texture. The embossing is in gold, and then the back just has the same cover with the slight texture. It's got a gold wire O binding, which I really, really hate. It looks beautiful with this planner. Like it's a very lovely planner. I just, this binding sucks ass. If you don't know why it sucks ass, you should try it. <laughs> the cover is also a really hard chipboard, which kind of blows my mind. This must have been really crunched to like fuck it this hard because it's it's a it's a pretty tough ass cover. The inside has a pocket here. It's like a kind of a laminated paper feeling. Feels pretty tough, and it gives you a lot of space. Like it's a very wide pocket. Paper feels pretty thin. Not as thin as Hobonichi a little bit thicker than, like this feels like the good printing paper, basically. It says Mom Agenda in pink with this little doodad up here and the name, address, and phone number. And then here is the introduction about the planner and why she started it and information about their community, yada, yada, yada. How to use this book. So honestly, normally I'm like, uh, that's silly, I know how to use a planner. However, this is kind of an interesting layout, so this could be helpful. It's, 
Loki is chasing his tail while I'm filming. I don't know what he got into this morning. And remember, this is the mom version, so it will say kids. If you had the my agenda, it wouldn't say kids. But reminders for like herself, and then um, there's spaces for up to four kids and their schedules, and then the spot in the bottom for dinner. And we'll talk more about this as we get into it, but it is a vertical planner, but it's a little bit different than just a standard vertical planner. It feels like the pages that have the dividers are not cardstock. They're the same as the other pages, but the, the tabs are laminated. So this first tab, it says essentials. It gives you a whole bunch of websites, favorite websites. And again, I don't know what this is in the my agenda or not because these are very mom centric, like pregnancy websites, parenting resources, Blogs for moms, communities for moms, nutrition, food, tech, productivity. There's a whole bunch of resources here if that's something that's interesting to you. I wonder how they keep this updated though because websites change. A whole bunch of online resources for airlines, reference, newspapers, government, uh, toll-free numbers for different places, hotels, car rental, etc. And then there's information for family members. So my name, my spouse, and then enough room for four children with their school names and phone numbers. I like how it says spouse because it may you may not be married. Like if you are a if you like no matter how you identify, if you have a single partner, then that would work. Important phone numbers all the emergency numbers, and then family, friends, and neighbors. And then you get another page for important phone numbers for babysitters, after school programs, favorite attractions for your kids, restaurants, takeout and delivery, clubs or leisure activities, health clubs and gyms and salons, and more. Veterinarians, vets, animal hospitals, pet groomers, decorators, cleaning services, lawn services, garbage pickup, recycling pickup, snow removal, contractors, repairs, handyman, lawyer, accountant, bank, and insurance agent. I'm already thinking I might want this for the new house. Holy shit, you guys. Oh my God. Auto insurance, auto service, vehicle information, and there's room for three vehicles. And then websites and passwords. I would never use a page like this. Guys, like I understand if you need somewhere to keep your passwords, use a password keeper. Because if somebody finds your planner, then they'll have all your information. <laughs> Adults, medical information, insurance providers, primary care, OBGYN, dentist, specialist, specialist, important health information. And then there's also the same page. So it's one for you, one for your spouse, like a whole page. And then for kids' medical information, there's room for pediatrician, dentist, specialist, allergies, and prescriptions. Birthdays and anniversaries, you get the full year for birthdays and anniversaries. And then there's this little, oh, I've always wondered about that. The different, you know, like paper versus cloth versus wool or whatever. What year? Jesse and I are going to be in our what? We got married in 2016 question mark? No. Is that right? No. Yes. No, we've been seven years. I never can remember how long we've been married. It was 2014 when we got married. So our anniversary this year would be our seventh anniversary. Copper or wool? <laughs> then zodiac signs and symbols, birthstones and flowers. These I knew. January has one of the best birthstones. Garnet is gorgeous. It's like a deeper, more awesome version of a ruby because it's both cheaper and prettier. But carnation is a bogus birth flower. I will just say, I have never been happy with having a fucking carnation as my birth flower. My sisters have primrose and violet or glads and poppies. Cat has poinsettia or holly. Same with Jess and RJ has daffodils. They all have better birth flowers than me. Carnations are a garbage flower. Sorry if you like them. Sorry, not sorry. Here's holidays. There's a bunch of holidays in here. Different two pages worth of holidays. There is for 2021, 2022, and 2023. There's Canada holidays in here. I see Jewish holidays. I see some Muslim holidays. I see, I don't see pagan holidays specifically, but I do say like the first day of spring, first day of winter and all that. So, okay. And then there's the, this is a Monday start. Is it Monday start? Wait a minute. Oh my God. Oh my God. Some of you are going to be so excited. Holy shit. So this is the, <laughs> this is the, per, the year to glance 2021 and 2022. And then we go into July and we have our monthly calendar. My friends, we have a monthly start of Monday. A monthly start of Monday and a weekly start of Monday. Is this the first planner I've reviewed where the monthly start and the weekly start are the same day? Is this the first planner I've reviewed that like that? Maybe. It's uh, very rare. There are some of you who watch planner reviews. You may not be a mom, but you might want to check out the My Agenda versions because no if that's the thing that's important to you, holy shit. <laughs> and this gives you 
June, August, September, October, November, and December. So this gives you a full six months, the month before this month, and then the five months after this month as a perpetual calendar on the side of it. Monday start, it's lined, which I know a lot of people want. There's a whole bunch of different kinds of holidays on here. And then there's a quote up here, but from Anne Frank. It's a parents, a quote about parents. I really fucking don't do quotes, but the Monday start is, is, it's, it's cool, man. And then we get into the weekly, and this is where things get really interesting. So it gives you the June and the July calendars at the top. You have a ton of space because this is a huge calendar. It's vertical, but not hourly. Now let's look at this page. So you have basically divided in a little less than half my week. And so this gives you a big chunk every single day of lined areas, Monday through Sunday, to put your stuff. And then weekly reminders can go here. And then there's four more sections. It says kids, but again, on the My Agenda, it won't say kids. And if you want to use this with your kids or your spouse, you can, or you could use this for different things like work, workout, whatever you want to do. But it's four more sections that go completely across with another row of lines. You basically have the same exact amount, but just divided into four sections. And then at the bottom, a tiny section for dinner. There's a quote up here. This one's Ruth Bader Ginsburg. If I'm going to get a quote, I'll take it from Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And then it looks like the next page has a different quote. This one's Shonda Rhimes and it just continues. And then it takes you to the start of August and we go to your next monthly calendar and then it just continues. And then at the end, we have notes pages, 11 full spreads of note pages, plus one more here on the end, and they're lined. And then there's another big pocket on the back here, and that is the end of the planner. And ugh, you can see why I hate YRO binding. A lot of note pages, though. It's a thin planner. The paper itself is pretty thin. It's also like a little bit of an off-white. It's not like a bright white. It's got kind of a cream color to it. You guys... Paper thickness aside, I am strongly leaning. Like, I, okay, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's do a pen test before we do anything else here. So I've got my usual kind of assortment of pens here for a gel pen. I have a Pentel Energel Klena 05. I've got my Scribbles That Matter Fine Liner, which is a 0.7 millimeter tip. I have a Tombow Dual Brush Pen, a Zebra Mild Liner, and a Clean Color Dot Pen from Zig. So we've got shadowing with all of the markers and a little bit of the gel pens. It's actually not that much of a ridge from the gel pen, but there's definitely shadowing from all three markers and a little bit of the bleed through from the Tombow where I laid it down and a little bit of the bleed through on the dot marker where I pushed harder. When I push lighter, it's just a shadow. So this paper is definitely not the best paper in any planner I've ever seen, but you guys, for my final thoughts, I've been talking lately about how I am thinking of incorporating a planner in with my bullet journal after we move because there's going to be a lot of information about the house and having a little structured place to put some things down, especially once the kids move to a new school and start new activities and we're back to driving around and shit like that. The whole reason going to the bullet journal only lifestyle really worked for me was because we were at home so much. Things are going to change a little bit when we move. I love this layout. This, and it's neutral. The only color besides gray that's in this whole planner is at the beginning with that little bit of pink. But the rest of this is super neutral. The quotes, while I'm not thrilled about having a quote on every page, and some of the people from the quotes, I'm like, eh, so many of the other ones are good. There's like quotes from Michelle Obama in here. And there's quotes from, a lot of quotes from Mary Oliver, who was a fantastic poet. And um, like quotes from Beyonce, quotes from Hillary Clinton, quotes from... All sorts of different people. They're more about things like hope and peace. I can almost live with the quotes, especially considering there's so much room here for activities. No pun intended. Actually, very much pun intended. And the Monday start and the Monday start. Like, this is not the kind of planner I would normally go with in terms of the wire O binding, in terms of the paper not being super thick. But this particular layout, the Monday start, this equal amounts of room for every day, the extra sections. This is a solid contender. 
I'm not going to lie. I can see myself using this layout. And I have the Flourish planner packed up to go to Denver because that was the planner I was seriously considering to use with my bullet journal. And now suddenly this guy comes from like behind like a horse in a race. Like now I'm having to figure out my new bullet journal notebook and if I'm going to use a planner and if so, which one. But I really love this, you guys. I really love this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this layout? What do you think about the extra stuff that's included in here? What do you think about all of that? I'd love to hear your comments as well as any planners you would like me to take a look at in the near future, especially after I've moved. That's why I looked at this because one of you recommended it and I'm so, more than one of you recommended it. Lots of you have recommended this to take a look at maybe because you didn't want to buy it. Well, now I've looked at it and I like it. So thanks. <laughs> So give me your recommendations, the things you want me to see. I'm willing to spend my money on planners so you don't have to. Let me know in the comments below if there's something you're, you're wanting, but you don't want to spend the money on it till you know if it's good or not. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, friends, peace out.